welcome back to the channel. Today, back on the 2001 Bayliner, and I'm going to walk you through this custom setup for emptying your tank DIY at home. So, stick around. It's going to be a pretty interesting episode. Here is the inlet for the waste and here I've got the tool and the cap so the threads are inch and a half so what I did was I got an inch and a half to inch and a half inch and a half MPT to inch and a half barbed and this inch and a half MPT perfectly fits inside and then I've got I got some inch and a half hose here I already cut it so I'm gonna go with a 90 degree first so a 90 to another inch and a half here um, and obviously these are all have hose clamps and then I got a big inch and a half MPT ball valve so that um, you know I can close it off and keep the keep the waste contained as much as possible and then it goes here to this macerator pump um, so this macerator pump 12 volt macerator pump I got this on Amazon it um, I thought about getting the RV one but finding an adapter for the RV side because that also has a flush on it which is cool um, it just I just couldn't find adapters to make it go you know adapt it to this stuff so this is what I got going on and then uh, there's an inch outlet so I that inch outlet goes to this uh, inch to three quarters barb and then this three quarter barb is going to go on this three quarter hose and then this three quarter hose here's our three quarter hose is going to has this um, just a hose adapter so this is just for a regular garden hose so this is going to go on the end of it and what I don't have out and I'll show you once I got it all hooked up is the um, the poo tank for our RV so I'm just going to go right into the poo tank so we can haul that thing up front and, and dump it in the sewer but yeah that's what we going, got going on um, also I'll show you we have the red and black cables here for the macerator pump um, what I did I went to O'Reilly's and I got a, uh, a switch so I got a switch here uh, 20 amp switch I think should be good and then I got a, an extension power cord extension um, for a cigarette lighter I'm gonna disconnect this end and then we're gonna use our jump pack here and the you know, 12 volt input and I'm just gonna run it right off of this this jump this jump pack um, with this here and I'm gonna wire it in I got some uh, I've got some wires to go to the end of this so that should be pretty simple looks like uh, I'm gonna need, yeah, two more wire connections, but we should be all set there. Um, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go inside, put it all together, and then uh, come back out and show you, and then show you uh, the final setup. All right, guys. Well, here is mostly the setup. <clears throat> if you paid any attention to the beginning and watch me mock this up you're probably thinking how in the world is he going to get the threaded fitting out of the boat and you're correct um, I my thought on this setup was maybe leave this a little loose and I could just twist one of these out of there <clears throat> but looking at the angle and how I would I'd have to twist the whole thing in or I would have to and that's not easy I would have to twist the rest of this out and the whole setup or something so that was going to be a pain so I went to Lowe's to see what else I could find and I found this split coupler which probably would work um, so I got the split coupler and said okay great let's let's use this this will make it easier I'll put it in line you know in here somewhere um, but then I had to go to Tractor Supply for something else, and then I found what I wanted all along. So from the beginning, if you know uh, boat cleanouts, this is the fitting that they use, basically. Um, the, this goes into the boat, and there's the fitting end goes on that looks like this. This fitting goes on, and it, you know, closes, and uh, that's what usually the, the hoses are made of that pump into the pump machines. Well... I could find this on Amazon all day, but I could not find one of these 
every time I looked for the inch and a half, I would find a two inch or one inch, or I just could not find this. So we had to go to uh, Harbor or uh, Tractor Supply, and lo and behold, they had a full aisle of these connectors. So I found exactly what I wanted. So what I'm going to do is use this one to screw into the boat. Keep this with the boat because this you can you can use at um, the site, and then um, this is going to be connected to this. Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to screw this directly into into there, and then move the right angle to here. So um, the valve is going to be directly on the end of this, and then it's going to go right on there, and we're going to close up just like it's meant to be. So tractor supply for the win. Um, I'll finish putting this together, and then uh, and then we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys. So now is my this is my real final setup. So I set the camera up. Hopefully, it, it captured that well. But this is uh, this is what it looks like now. Um, I don't know if this is maybe I need to lengthen this, but let's see how it sits up on the on the boat on that little swim platform. But yeah, again, this is going to go in the boat. This connects onto that. Got a valve so I can turn it on and off. And it's going to go into this macerator pump. And the macerator pump, this end is going to go into our RV poop, tr poop tank, um, poop truck we call it. And then it's just going to plug into the um, jump pack, just like I showed you. These fake Wago connectors, and this is obviously not set up to be run in the rain, but I'm not going to be running in the rain, so I'm not too concerned about that at 12 volts. So we should be good. So yeah. Next thing to do is go hook it up and give it a try. Here is the final setup. The uh, the end went on pretty nice here. You can see to remove these clips, there are little pushes, push pins here. So push these pins, and then these clips will go forward. Otherwise, it's locked on there. So yeah, that I think you saw. Hopefully, it, it looked good. Threaded in. This one's threaded. We've got our fitting clamp down here, 90 degree, so it kind of fits nicely up here on the platform. Again, another hose clamp, and then this is all inch and a half. Then this is an inch, goes down to three quarters, and then here is the honey wagon. Now, I don't know what's wrong. I tried to um, put that metal fitting on this, because it's it, this is designed for something like this. So you, this is perfectly, this is what you're supposed to use this for. So if you have a macerator, you can put it right here. The problem is, all that did was cross-thread that. It just cross-threaded every single time. I couldn't get it to go on there at all, even though this one goes on there perfectly fine. So we did buy this also, this clear Valtteri top that has um, a, a hose fitting, fit on there beautifully. Also, um, it's clear. It's not clear enough to really see in there, but that, that would be great if it, if it did. So I'll just leave this one on here because it has a cap and you can cap it off and then you got you got that so you don't need to use this one. So that's it. And then again here is the uh, jump pack. 12 volts running into it. Show we have power on already. Power on. So I'm going to hit the switch and hopefully you don't get sprayed with poo. Come on. That was great. That was amazing. Now let's try it with the valve open. Let's see, see how that does. Now that the valve's open. All right, guys. Well, let's try this again. As you see. There's some fluid in there. The uh, cigarette lighter, cigarette lighter, uh, 12 volt just did not have the gusto. And then as soon as I switched it to this, I started going ahead to put little spacers in there because they don't close all the way. So there we go. It's working and.
and it's not uh, leaking, so that's good. I think this hose may need maybe a little stouter hose. Essentially one with uh, like a spring inside of it. What? Good, don't matter. All right, we'll let this pump out and then uh, see how good we did. So one tip is to make sure you vent fit your honey truck. This honey truck was a uh, honey wagon. The honey wagon was uh, it was kind of pressurized there for a minute. But I'm going to go ahead and put some water down into the black tank. Just fresh water. Just to add some good clean water to the tank. Well, yeah, I'm just going to push some good clean water down the tank. Just so we can get some extra fluid in there because it seems to have stopped. I'm not sure if it is completely done or not, but we'll see. This might help at least flush it out, put a little bit of clean, clean water in there. So yeah, I'm just going to do this and hook up my uh, connection again. And then uh, run this pump for a few more minutes and then call it, call it done. That was a success. Um, adding a little bit of extra water water to it did a pretty good job at bringing the rest of it out the honey wagon is actually kind of full so I think we got her um, this connection has been perfect um, nice and clean um, you do need either a battery or a jump pack and you need a jump pack not all jump packs will start without uh, so this one gives constant power some jump packs will not run if they don't have um, if they don't already sense voltage so they're not going to sense voltage with this so the small little jump packs may not work or some newer jump packs may not work but this one worked great so if you don't have a jump pack just hook it to a, a battery it does seem to, to want a little bit extra amperage and power but yeah that's it honey wagon some hoses i'll try to put all of this in the comments or in the in the description to the best of my ability but uh, i don't know about the parts i got from um uh, from uh, Tractor Supply. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you out if you need to do something like this. But uh, yeah, like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.